Hi, my name is Abe and I'm going to show you how to use the quotient rule to find derivatives today. So, the quotient rule goes like this. If f of x equals u of x over v of x, then f dash of x is equal to v times u dash minus u times v dash all over v squared. So again, I've left out the x's because v and u are both functions of x, so v dash is just the derivative of v, and u dash is the derivative of u. Again, this is one of those things, it's just a rule, nothing magical. And I'm going to run through a quick example with you. So, let's do examples. Example here, let f of x equal uh, x squared minus 4x plus 1 over sine x. Cool. Pretty simple. So what's going to happen is that you'll see from the formula you want u dash and you want v dash, right? But first you want to identify u and v. Not particularly difficult. You can see that u is the top function and v is the bottom function fairly simple to identify. So let's go ahead with this then. So u dash is the derivative of x squared minus 4x plus 1, which is simply 2x minus 4. What about v dash? v dash is the derivative of the bottom function, so sine x. v dash is cos x nothing hard so far and all you need to do now is put them all together so f dash of x is equal to v times u dash minus u times v dash all over v squared so let's see how this goes right v is sine x u dash is 2x minus 4. Now, go minus. u is x squared minus 4x plus 1. v dash happens to be cos x. And all of that goes over v squared, so sine x. Sorry, sine squared x. And there you have it. Looking at the final answer, mm, yeah, you don't really need to simplify that. And so that's it. Simple example. Again, like I've said, it's very mechanical. You pick your u and v. If you know how to derive both u and v, then the rest of it is really simple. So yeah, that's using the quotient rule. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I'll see you next time.